Hi, welcome back Planner Pals. I'm Tammy of A Peach Life, and today I'm gonna to share with you my new tea journal setup. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna, my water, I'm gonna make a little tea. I got my water over here, and let's have a little fun. So I have, I have some different teas here with me. I put these aside so I have them in my little space here. I think we should go with this one. Okay, so today I'm creating my tea journal and I'm gonna share with you, um, let's trim this. I don't want to rip it too much share with you I had a tea journal before and I decided to kind of incorporate it into my art journal which I really thought I would like it like that but I do love my tea journal separate and so I am going to go back to having it separate and create a new one okay mm. That already smells so good. So I'll let that steep for a few minutes. Um, I also have some of the little specialty Carol K pack um, teas in my Etsy shop with a little stationery with them. And I have um, more new flavors that are being um, added. So I would definitely check back. This is April, 2022 and check back throughout the whole month. There'll definitely be um, more items added throughout the month, plus some new uh, inserts and things like that added just recently. So let's get started here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my items. So I'm using this kit from my Peach Life Etsy shop. So this is the kit here and I, this is the cover I chose. It's a six by six. It comes with 25 pages. And if you buy the art journal kit, it comes with like a coordinating back cover. Or you can choose um, your own cover and your own back six by six back cover and just get the pages separately. And I have little uh, 25 random papers and all those same papers are ones I absolutely and do use in my art journals as well. So they're all really cute, really great colors. So let's, um, let me get started and then I can show you some of those. So all the, there's lots of different six by six and I just find I really love this size. And I'll show you a few few different things. Well, here, right out the gate, this is the nine by six. And I, I enjoy this for my art journal back cover. And I'll show you, I, I mixed in like my tea art journal here with my regular art journal stuff and more tea journaling. And now I really wish I had kept it separate. So I have um, little flip throughs, past videos of flip throughs. I even have a past video of my uh, tea journal. Okay. So I just wanted to give you a little look. This is another one of my nine by six art journals but I wanna go with six by six. So for me, I felt like that, that the six by six is more than it is like actually just perfect. It's like the Goldilocks uh, amount of space. This is the nine by six, but if you wanna do like more decorating, then nine by six would be better for you. So now I just really want my, um, my tea journal all in one place. So here's another page because I actually do reflect back where I was reflecting back to them to see 
um, which ones I loved, which ones I'd order again, um, ones that I would not order again. So it's just really, really cute. I would just love to have them more back in one spot. Okay, so I do have a flip through of one of these and one in progress. And in my shop, these covers are available and you can get them already as uh, kits. I just don't have the discs and you can get the discs anywhere. I use Happy Planner discs, but um, you can, again, find those everywhere from Michael's and Joann's to Amazon, uh, you name it. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. And I try to share with you like where things are from, but always, um, just comment here in the questions and I will answer. I answer all of them. And then this little drawstring bag, I, I, this is the, my last one. So the, obviously this was mine that I kept, but I have another Carol K pack one available in my Etsy shop. And I believe it has like maybe the little dog or the, the bear tea guy, which is really cute and they fit perfectly for the six by six art journals. And I keep extra of my page packets in here so I can kind of just flip through. I know I've shared this before and I have a past video, my niece's little um, planner pouches and things like that. And she created um, some for me that I had just got. So I'll share those with you as well. And I believe she'll have more in her little uh, Craft Life Macari shop this coming week. So I like to be able to just grab my extra pages and flip through and toss that in my little tote bag. All right, so now we are just going to add, I got this cute little sort of goldish a little softer than my gold ones. Okay. You may even have like extra ones of these lying around or an old happy planner. As of right now, I don't make the happy planner size covers uh, because I always found I was trimming or cutting mine down to a special size that um, I needed to make for an art journal. But I sort of didn't like how sometimes the images would be off because they're made to fit a certain size. Okay, maybe I should have done that. And I do have another little um, Fuzzy Bee style cover. That's really cute. Let's see here. How cute that is. They really are just like a little random pack of goodness. Every one will pretty much be different. You may randomly here and there have one or two doubles but for the most part I would think not let's see these ones these ones are really cute I really love to mix and match and then once you put them in you can move them around you can flip them around and use a white side you can really just do however you want you can also cut and add your own two your booklet here. I know a lot of times when I have smaller scrap pieces, I will punch them and add them in just for some different little sizing. Love that one. So cute. So in my Etsy shop, there are art journals and it already comes with the pages and the front and back cover. Or again, you can just like choose 
however you want. You could choose your own front and back cover uh, and then get the pages individually. Or again, create your own pages and get the covers. I like to really mix and match mine. I really like the variety too because the tees are also different. And if there's a page that you know that you don't want with your like tea or art journal, you can use it in a, a different one. Sometimes I might find a page that I'm that I think, oh, that will go really cute in my Disney art journal. So I will switch and use it for that. I love these. that I'm gonna try my tea real quick oh that's nice okay okay and then you can add more pages the art journal books come with 25 or the individual packets come with 25 but as you start adding your tea packets on here and you can see this is a larger tea packet a little larger one so you can write that you can even on this side um, like maybe right where it was purchased from uh, what you thought of it things like that that would be really cute as well and this just gives enough little space to add something little decorative here oh my goodness I would just love that there and then you can add your other little oh he's so cute oh I love that on that one okay so I'll put that back and again there will be more little tea sets and things like that in my Etsy shop throughout the month but there are a few now I know most of them sold pretty quick Okay, and then I, and then you have like an extra couple of discs. And I like to keep all my extra little discs to sort of mix and match. They have these cute Disney ones. They're just adorable. I do still art journal in my Hobonichi um, Techo and Cousin but it's more uh this is like a little bit more bulkier sort of art journaling i don't like to keep like thick things like postcard thickness in those type of items so in here i can add a little thicker memorabilia and ephemera i like that i'm able to move around the pages change that up a little and add as much or take away that i may need Okay, so I'm going to, I think that's my page for that. I think that is the page and it's gonna be so cute. Let me see. So I have my little tin. Oh, these are also um, little cards that are in my Etsy shop that are laminated and you can use them like a million different ways, but I think I had some extra that just like printed a little differently. Oh, this is not what I was looking for. Okay, let's put that away. I thought this had my little stickers in it. Let me see, so I'm gonna punch that and add it in. Those little cards and things, I like to add those in my covers of different items. So cute. Probably won't stay there, but 
I'm glad I found that. And then here I have some of my different teas that I've already that I've already had that I want to add these into my little tea journal. Oh, that is a new one, so we'll put that in here. Yeah, and I'm gonna love just having this one spot in this size is just super lovely. That's sort of perfect for right at the beginning here. Very cute. Mm, a little cat is cute to kick off too because I love cats. So is this little guy. came in um, they're really hard to order or find sometimes you can find some stuff on eBay um, but mostly for me to be able to find like my specialty items and stuff luckily I have um, someone that I know that lives here in my town that goes back to Japan and has family there every once in a while and I kind of just send her with money and ask her to get whatever she can <laughs> With that amount of money sometimes she will go on an order for me i try not to really ask of that um because it's all in japanese and it takes time to ask someone to do all that kind of stuff and place that order but occasionally um she will but then the shipping is usually like no matter how little or amount i get is usually around a hundred dollars just to ship so I try to be cautious with that. All right, I'm gonna use that on here. So a lot of those items, if it's double or triple of something or something already have similar, I will list those in my Etsy shop for you guys. Okay, I cannot think. Oh, I know, I was gonna share the little sticker sets. So those are also in my Etsy. I have that and there are three different ones to kind of go with uh, and to use in your art journal um, if you've ever purchased from the, some of the past sticker kits that I had available some of these and these ones are similar they're completely different sizes and changed up some items quite a bit so or a bit these ones are all new items and they're all wonderful and my little favorites to use. So let's see. I keep a lot of my little extras in here. Let's see if there's anything I wanted to use in here. Oh, these are pretty cute. I think I'm gonna add him in there. Yeah. Oh, this is a great one to share with you guys. So this is a new, um, I had taken some kits together and mixed them up. And these I'll be posting over the weekend. So by the time you see the video, it will be already posted. Let me share that with you really quick. So this has all sorts of, I think I'm gonna use this for my tea journal. This is perfect. Little post-its, cards and papers, tags, and twine and ribbon. 
Look how cute he is. Oh, this is just perfect. Oh, I'm so glad I opened and came across that one. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, my favorite little things. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, so this whole little, these little kits will be in my Etsy, A Peach Life. This is definitely the one I will be, look how cute that is, be using for my tea journal. Yeah, these colors are just perfect. And this, and again, you can just add these if you want to layer and add to your page, or you can punch them and add them in as a page. Let's see, let me show you. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, yeah, this is just, well, this is perfect for our journal or tea journal. Same here. Tuck that in there. Let's see. Little camera. More. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is beyond perfect. I'm so thankful. I was. I guess I had this set aside for my art journal. But I'm going to set it aside for my tea journal. I love it. It's just packed full of so much little goodies. Oh, let's see. I love that. Oh, perfect. It's really just coming together there. Oh, Totoro. Okay. Love him. Look how cute he is. So cute. Love. These are just like the best. I think I should add him in. He's so cute. Is it really him? Yeah, look at I'm already ready. They're creating a way. I need to glue that down. <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm ready to just start creating that page now. Okay, let's see what else is in here. So all those little items, love that and that. And this is even cute to punch and add in. So wonderful. Okay, well that couldn't have worked out better for sure I love it look how cute that is oh I really love this tag for no for there mm, so cute A little sticker okay love it Love, love when a plan comes together. Look how cute. Add those right in. All right, my little art journal page is really coming together. You can also use your paper from the packaging to add in. You can trim it down and make a little pocket page or cut out and use your paper. Oh, just perfect that on I love that okay so cute and perfect well I couldn't have planned that any better oh my gosh I just love that okay I just kind of toss certain things that I think I may be going to use in my art journals um, I feel like I gathered something up for this particular art journal and cannot find it. I thought I thought all those little items were here in my tin, but they are not. Hmm, very interesting. I'll have to kind of see. Oh, I know I just found it where I put it. So I have this little clear glittery 
organizer. It has a little pocket here. And then my envelope. I sort of just decorate these. And this is just packing tape over them so it stays nice. And it looks good and you don't even hardly notice the lines or anything of the packing tape if you put it on really good. And I have these cute little um, envelopes in my Etsy shop. Yeah, this is sort of all my little tea-ish theme I put together that I went through my things and pulled out that I thought I might like to use in my tea journal. Oh, so perfect. So these little cuties are in my shop also. Let's see what else. And these and this one. And they have um, a tea with them. A little specialty tea. Okay, perfect. Okay, yay, I'm glad I found. So this is what I'm set, gonna be using and set aside for my little art journaling. And then of course, I'll be using the different stickers from my shop uh, along with um, using those in my art journals and things as well too. All right, well, um, I'm going to get started creating here. I'm gonna add that together and then an upcoming uh, journal with me, create with me video. I'll show you the final little outcome of that. And I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions about these or you go to my Etsy shop, you can convo me there. Any questions here, please convo here. Um, again, if you'd like uh, to follow me through my Facebook or Instagram, those are all in the summary down below. I'd love to have you. And thanks so much for joining me again. See you soon.